Okay, practice question on mutations. We're going to look at the four different type of point mutations. And uh, this questions are, these questions are one to four on page 31. Okay, so let's get right to some of the questions here. So it says uh, the following matches of normal codon sequen sequence uh, when the codon's in the top row and the resulting amino acid's in the bottom row, okay? So they're telling us here are the codons here, of course, and then the amino acids that those will actually code for. So this is already in messenger RNA, and you always got to be careful of that. Sometimes they give you DNA, they want you to find the amino acids, you have to put it into messenger RNA. But if you have messenger RNA already, you can just go and code for the amino acids just by looking at your library. This particular one, though, tells you the amino acids already that it's associated with. Okay, so let's do the first question uh, here. It says, identify the type of mutation. Okay, and there was four types uh, that would occur if the first codon was mutated from GUU to GU. A. So they're saying that instead of a U, it got mismatched to an A. That's the point mutation. And a point mutation is just one nucleotide that is mismatched. Okay, so when we do that, we know that GUU already coded for valine. But when we go take a look at the library for GUA, we know that that is also valine. And because it's coding, that mismatch or that mutation is coding for the same amino acid anyways, we said that this is a type of silent mutation. It has no effect on the protein, uh, on protein synthesis. Uh, the same protein is going to be produced, so it's silent, there's no effect, and it's going to carry on as usual. So we take a look at that, and of course that is C, a silent mutation no effect on that cell's metabolism or no effect on the synthesis of that particular protein. Let's look at the next question. It says, identify the type of mutation that will occur if the third codon, so here's the third codon rate here. Uh, it codes for leucine and that's UUG. And they're saying if that got mutated to a U and now instead of a, another U, they're saying that that got mismatched with an A. And then G was as follows. So that's leucine, but the mutation, when we go take a look at this and we have to go to the messenger RNA library, and when we do that, we see that this is now going to be a stop codon. And what that's going to do, it's going to cause a premature stop in protein synthesis. And that is not going to make any sense at all. It's not a missense or anything like that. When you have a premature stop in the codon, that will never, that protein will never be functional. So that, of course, when you have a premature stop is called a nonsense mutation. Okay, so that protein makes no sense whatsoever because you uh, stopped uh, assembling the amino acids that were necessary in order to get a functional protein. Okay, let's take a look at question number three. So it says, identify the mutation if the G was deleted in the first codon. So here's the first codon. They're saying if this guy was deleted. Now what would happen is that would shift all of these other guys. That would shift their codons. And that now would become the codons. So it would shift the entire library. And when that does, you can see here that that's exactly what happens with a frame shift mutation. You either delete or maybe you even add another nucleotide which shifts the whole codon library over and of course that's going to be a type of nonsense. You're not going to have a functioning protein because way too many amino acids are going to be affected by this frame shift mutation. Okay and the last one it says identify the type of the mutation that would occur if the last codon, so here's the last codon, GAA, was mutated to G, G, A. So you can see that this middle nucleotide uh, is mutated. It went from an A and it got mismatched to a G. Still, point mutation, only one nucleotide affected here. And when we do that, uh, we can see that G, G, or G, A, A uh, was coding for GLUT. 
uh, glutamate. And then if we go take a look at our library, again, you have to go to the library for this, messenger RNA, it's going to code for a completely different amino acid, uh, glycine. And when it's coding, or when the mutation results in a different amino acid in the sequence, that is going to cause what's called a missense mutation. It's going to alter the protein. It will not have its function that it was originally attended for. Now, in most cases, we said some of these are silent, some of these are actually harmful. But in the rare occasion, some of these mutations may have a benefit in a certain type of environment you might be producing a protein that will lead to a trait that might give you some selective advantage. And they believe, again, like we said in our notes, that these type of mutations, these missense mutations, have led to all the different biodiversity that you see today. Okay, uh, there will be a couple of questions on mutations, so if you have any issues with any of this, just give me an email, and then we can, uh, we can talk about it. Okay, thanks.